So let us understand the formation of ammonia molecule. So the formula for ammonia is NH3. We are going to use the Lewis or electron dots symbols or structures to understand the formation of ammonia by covalent bonding. Now to begin with and to understand that how uh, ammonia, uh, how the covalent bonding happens in ammonia, we need to begin with the element nitrogen and hydrogen which are forming the formula NH3. Now nitrogen has an atomic number 7. Its electronic configuration is 2,5. That is it has 5 electrons in its outermost shell or valence electrons in nitrogen are 5. Now it is an unstable atom since it does not have 8 electrons in its outermost shell. So to do so, it requires 3 more electrons to become stable. On the other hand, hydrogen atom has an atomic number 1. Its electronic configuration is also 1. And it has one valence electron. That is, it has only one electron in its outermost shell. It too is unstable and requires one more electron to become stable and follow the duplet rule. So in turn, both the nitrogen and hydrogen atoms are not stable. So, what can they do? This can simply form a bond between each other and easily become stable. But to understand this, that how do they form a bond, we need to first start with seeing that which out of the two elements is going to be the central atom. That is what we decide before we start showing a bonding between atoms. So, to know this, we first need to see which out of the two atoms requires more number of electrons. So if you compare nitrogen and hydrogen, nitrogen requires three electrons and hydrogen requires only one electron to become stable. So this is very clear that the atom which is going to act as a central atom is nitrogen. Since nitrogen requires three more electrons to become stable. Therefore, nitrogen is the central atom. And this is how we show its bonding. So we show nitrogen atom in the center. And since nitrogen requires three electrons to become stable. Now it is very clear if we just look at the diagram that um, nitrogen atom requires three electrons. But hydrogen can only provide one electron to nitrogen atom. One hydrogen atom can provide only one electron to nitrogen atom. That is nitrogen cannot form a bond with just one hydrogen atom. Since it can provide only one electron to nitrogen atom. So if you were to just imagine that there are no such electrons which are present here and it's forming a bond. It's not forming a bond with any of the other atoms here. So it would be easier for you to understand. So if you were to just understand that there's no other bond being formed and nitrogen is only forming a bond with one hydrogen atom, it's very clear that such a case is not possible because in such a case nitrogen is having only one more electron but is still short of two more electrons so what if it forms a bond with two hydrogen atoms here again if it is forming a bond with two hydrogen atoms nitrogen is still short of one more electron so therefore it bonds with three hydrogen atoms now when it forms a bond with three hydrogen atoms as we have discussed earlier also in case of water molecule one hydrogen atom can provide only one electron to nitrogen atom therefore nitrogen needs to bond with three hydrogen atoms to achieve three more electrons and in turn follow the octet rule but hydrogen atom can provide one hydrogen atom can provide only one electron therefore nitrogen is going to share one electron with one hydrogen atom its second electron with second hydrogen atom and its third electron with third hydrogen atom that is it is going to form three covalent bonds with hydrogen atom now since we need to show this in the form of a bonding so it's shown like this we need to draw we simply draw circles showing the completion of duplet by hydrogen and completion of octet by nitrogen in turn that is a bond has been formed between them so if you look clearly here so one pair of electrons is being shared between nitrogen and hydrogen atom here another pair of electron is being shared between nitrogen and hydrogen atom here and the third uh, pair of electrons is being shared between nitrogen and hydrogen atom here. So in turn, nitrogen 
and hydrogen are forming three separate covalent bonds so three single covalent bond is be, are formed between nitrogen and hydrogen atom and we show the bond with the help of a line so a single line simply represents a single covalent bond now since three hydrogen atoms were involved therefore the formula of ammonia becomes NH3 so therefore there are a total of three covalent bonds in the formula of ammonia now the same thing represent can also be represented with the help of model as you all can see here in front of you so here you can clearly see this in the center represents the symbol of nitrogen this is the symbol of hydrogen this is the symbol of second hydrogen and this is the symbol of third hydrogen atom so nitrogen has five valence electrons one two three four and five it is sharing one of its electron with one hydrogen atom one of its electron with another hydrogen atom and another electron with another hydrogen atom so in turn this hydrogen atom is completing its duplet with two electrons this hydrogen atom is also completing its du duplet with two electrons and this this sorry this hydrogen atom is also completing its duplet with two electrons and in turn nitrogen is also completing its octet so let's count its electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so this nitrogen atom is also completing its octet now this can also be you can even draw a model like this which is actually representing the bonding which is shown here with the help of lines now each of these this uh, sphere in the center is representing the nitrogen atom and these uh, spheres on the sides are representing hydrogen atoms this line is representing the bond formed between nitrogen and hydrogen that means instead of showing the pair of electrons we make a line and this line represents nothing but the bond so we can clearly see there are one two and three bonds formed between nitrogen and hydrogen in the molecule of ammonia so i hope you all have understood this with the help of models as well as the structural explanation given